What's up, ladies, gentlemen, guys, and gals? This is Ladash coming at you. So, today, another part of the Japanese language studies. And I know I got a little bit of a different setup going on today, but I really wanted to touch base with everyone on back on the different styles that come with the Japanese alphabet list. So, yeah, jumping right into it,、uh, the, the link I provided for everyone, as you can see here, it does provide a multitude of different styles that you can do. But I really wanted to stress on what I recommend everyone, how, everyone learns how to do. So, out of all of these here, the best one is the textbook print and style. This is the one that you, that you, you would learn through in the In, uh, in both Genki volumes one and two, and throughout any learning course, it's, the most, it's just the most recommended way of,、uh, of lear learning the style while not getting confused every no once in a while when these things pop up again. And even when you have the different other styles that do, do these、uh, characters differently, you'll be able to so basically pick up on them. As far as what they what they could, what they're most likely going to be, like, let's see if I can pick one out. Like, right here, where you have the、uh, key, right here, this would be close. This is closer to the textbook style of doing it, but right here, when you have it and the,、uh, I believe that's part of the Gothic style, I believe. Yeah, but I think that's part of the Gothic style. But,、um, but yes, you'll, you'll definitely see a lot of characters looking like this, where the, a lot of the lines are conjoined together.、Uh, the most notable ones, like I said, right here is key. And as you can see right here, Sa and、uh, Re. Re isn't on here, but Re is definitely another one that you know, is just combined together and is most notably used in. Uh, in, in a digital format, so you'll see it in phone messages or computer typings and whatnot. But as far as learning everything, you, I again cannot stress enough going back to the textbook print style. Now, I pulled up a, a、uh, another link here, or I found a sheet on you know, Google Images and whatnot the, because、uh, was. Having trouble scanning my own book, but right here it gives a great example of what you're actually you know a really spot on example of what you're going to see in a textbook. The the only character that you you all won't be familiar with with this volume is、uh, is this character right here. I believe that's in the the、uh, wild world section. It's supposed to be another one. Called the, I can't remember if it's Wu or Wei, but that's uh that's not to be addressed right now. Anyway, all of these other characters, notice they, well, as you can notice, the order of them is backwards. That's a, if I remember correctly, that's, a, that's how they go ahead and、uh, start their writing, or write, that's their format of writing things in Japan. So, Uh, is, is backwards, basically right to left as opposed to R left to right. But anyway, I mainly just wanted to show you all that this is the appropriate writing style, the textbook writing style that you should be addressing or learning from when you're doing these,、uh, when you're practicing out,、uh, writing out these characters just for, just for、uh, great accuracy in that. And more versatility when you when you do when you do attempt to,、uh, I guess, tackle other styles or just recognizing other writing styles or, or fonts, I should say. So, anyway,、uh, oh, I、uh, that's uh, that's pretty much wrapping up this、uh, this video right here. I do have to go ahead and、uh, give kind of a sh kind of.、Uh, Give a shout out, and、uh, well, I've already liked him, but yes, a shout out to two individuals,、uh, the Greek MC right here,、uh, and 
and a person who made a comment to a to another comment down here on the issue with OBS uh, well, OBS having a black screen when it comes to window capturing. I was having this issue where it, where it just wouldn't show up at all. And I know well, I've had so many uh, odd issues with OBS with the black screens and whatnot, but this man right here has solidified and sh solidified it and, sh and helping me figure it out as far as showing the uh, browser screen. So, you know, like Chrome, and uh, and the other commenter uh, basically let me figure out what what uh, what to do on top of what he said to basically make sure that it was working. So I do have to give those two a shout out. Uh, the other person over here is Pauly Mew. So thank you, Pauly Mew and the Greek MC. Anyway, everyone, you know, thank you for checking out the checking out this video. If you liked it, go ahead and leave a like. And if you really like the content in general, please go ahead and subscribe. And I'm always welcome to comments, uh, to feedback on the content that I'm providing, so I can make uh, make adjustments or see where see where I, I'll go next with these things. So anyway, you know, thank you all for coming out, and I will catch you all later.